Hi again. Uh, so this is about Visio and about spaghetti diagrams. So you can see the example we're going to be working out. Uh, this is what it'll look like. So again, we want to make everything as basic as we can so that it's uh, we don't get distracted by um, anything complex. So to start with, actually, whenever I first started, I went to new and I did this basic diagram. That's the one I selected. And that comes up with all of this menu. So I started with just putting some rectangles. You can see how it aligns things really nice. And then I right clicked in each one, edited the text. Um, this is the drying station. I wanted to make that a little bit bigger. It automatically zooms in and out like that. Um, this was the sink. Right click, edit the text. This was the trash. Okay, so now we need to add our connectors for the pass that we took. You can do this on the home tab right here, or you could do it on the insert tab right here. Either way is fine. It snaps too. It will start you off with an arrow and a square type. I like more of, of this type, so we'll go over that option. Um, so let's insert. Let's insert a couple more. I'm going to do them all at once. And here's why I was wanting to do that. If you select one and then you hit control and hold control and then select another, keep holding control when you select all of them. Then you can let up on control. And you let up on the mouse and everything's selected. That way you can change the type of all of them at one time. So over here you see you have a beginning arrow type and an end arrow type. I like to start with the begin, um, do this filled square. I don't know if all of that showed up on your screen. Sorry about that. color and I'm going to go to the home tab go to line set the weight then while they're also selected I'm going to hover over and right click and hit curve connector and then you can drag this to that point make one of them like lower. So this is the basics and I hope it was helpful. Okay. Thank you.